Now this is my favorite return of all the returns. Uh, it takes very little effort and you maintain full control. You can even get his back from this position. And I see a lot of different ways guys take, try taking the back from behind them on their feet, you know, jumping up on the back or trying to kick out the knees or whatever. But this broomstick that I'm gonna show you, it's really smooth, it's very hard to stop, and you're always gonna maintain control of the person. So here it is, let's talk you through it, and then we'll do it live once. So from behind him, I usually come up to a claw position right there. I can't keep my hands locked if I want, there's really nothing wrong with this. I just prefer to be there. I slide through. Now, what I do, see I put my foot on the back of his knee right there. I'm gonna straighten my leg, and I'm gonna sit my butt back this way. It's gonna cause him to lose his balance and fall back. So we go here, I slide right there. I'll just slide out, and now I got full control of his back. Okay, one time live. Okay, so this is a total manhandling technique because the guy who's done all this work to get to his feet and then all of a sudden you just demoralize and bring him back down and you got a hook in. You can throw that second one in there pretty easy and have his back. Um, so this is the broomstick. Um, I don't see very many people, I don't see anyone doing it. I haven't really seen anyone do it in uh, either UFC or Bellator or anywhere else. Um, a lot of guys in the gym here do it. Uh, they really like it, they picked it up. I think it can become an unstoppable technique for MMA uh, if people really start using it. Because there really is, if you do it correctly, no good defense. And that is the broomstick.